the best DSLR cameras are still a great investment for photographers in 2023. While the best mirrorless cameras are at the cutting edge of photographic tech, top DSLRs still benefit from big sensors, solid battery lives and best-in-class handling. These features make them fantastic tools for beginners and professionals alike, and they remain the cheapest way to get a camera with a built-in viewfinder. I'm sure that this video will help you decide what a great buy. I don't want you to move an inch from your seat because I want to show you the best DSLR cameras that you can buy in 2023. 1. Nikon D3500 Nikon has discontinued the D3500, but you can still find it at many online retailers. That's a good thing, because it's an ideal choice for beginners looking to sharpen their photography skills. Despite its age, the D3500 has a fantastically capable APS-C sensor. In our tests, we found the images it produced were top-notch. We were also impressed by its battery life and ease of handling. While experienced photographers should look further down this list for a suitable DSLR, we think the Nikon D3500 is proof that you don't have to pay a fortune to get a great camera. Its controls are accessible for learners and, in the right hands, it's a match for cameras that cost a lot more. During our review, we praised its guide mode for the way it introduces novices to manual controls, building their confidence and creativity. To get the most out of the 24.2 megapixel sensor, we'd recommend buying the D3500 with the VR version of its kit lens, as this incorporates Nikon's image stabilization system at little extra cost. Nikon also has a vast catalog of DX system lenses, giving you plenty of choice when your skills advance enough to justify a glass upgrade. 2. Canon EOS 2000D If you're buying your first DSLR camera on a tight budget, a simpler, slightly older model is the way to go. Canon's entry-level EOS Rebel T7, known as the 2000D outside the US, fits that bill. The specs won't blow anyone away, but we found it easy to use, it gets the basics right and, because it's a few years old, offers fantastic value. There are several compromises, of course. Burst shooting is limited to a lazy 3 FPS and the dated autofocus system features just 9 points. Live view focusing is sluggish and you'll need to look elsewhere if you want a touchscreen. And, as you'd expect, the plasticky shell does not feel premium. But there are good points for beginners, too. We felt the control layout is logical and easy to use, and battery life is solid. There's video recording too, albeit limited to 1080p. More importantly, in our tests the 24.1 megapixel sensor produces images with a good level of detail and decent dynamic range, while noise handling performance is solid. If you're looking to buy a good DSLR on a shoestring, the EOS Rebel T7 2000D is well worth considering. 3. Canon EOS 90D The EOS 90D is quite the step forward for the EOS DSLR line. It's the first model of its kind to sport a 32.5 megapixels APS-C sensor, which is a generous amount of pixels for both cropping and producing large prints. Unlike the earlier 80D, it also offers uncropped 4K video recording, while a new processing engine and faster burst shooting are also highlights. The 1300-shot battery provides far more juice than you'll get from the average mirrorless camera, while protection against dust and water is also a bonus. In our review, we were impressed by the versatility of the 90D. It's an excellent all-rounder for those who like to photograph a broad range of different subjects. It's worth weighing up whether the benefits of a mirrorless alternative to the EOS 90D, like the Canon EOS M6 Mark II, might appeal to you. The M6 Mark II is smaller, cheaper and offers faster burst shooting. But by focusing on key areas like battery life, handling and a fully articulating rear screen, Canon has made the EOS 90D a strong and versatile alternative for anyone who prefers the DSLR experience. 4. Nikon D780 The D780 is effectively a hybrid of a full-frame DSLR and a mirrorless camera like the original Nikon Z6. And while it's still relatively expensive, the D780's slight price drop since it landed in 2020 means it's now our top pick for anyone who wants to combine the benefits of mirrorless tech and DSLRs. 
Building on the solid foundation laid by the D750, the D780 uses the same 273-point-on sensor phase detection AF system as the Z6, allowing it to focus rapidly when you're shooting via live view. If you prefer to frame through its optical viewfinder, you'll be able to make the most of its impressive 2260-shot battery life. Our review revealed that the D750's image quality is among the best around, while its 4K video skills are boosted by the inclusion of modern features like face and eye detection. As a relatively new DSLR, it's still quite pricey, but if that isn't an issue for you, then it's one of the best full-frame all-rounders you can buy. 5. Nikon D7500 Fancy the Nikon D500 but don't fancy the price tag? Well, if you're prepared to make a few compromises here and there, the D7500 is what you should be looking at. It's packed with the same 20.9 megapixels sensor as its more senior stablemate, and also matches it in offering 4K video recording. Nikon has also furnished it with the same 180K pixel RGB metering sensor and the tilting screen on the back is just as large at 3.2 inches in size, although not quite as detailed, and it's all wrapped up inside a weather-sealed body. In our tests, we were impressed by a number of things, including battery life, image quality and handling. It's a great all-rounder for those with a healthy amount of budget. On an even tighter budget? There's also the older 24.2 megapixels Nikon D7200, which continues to offer great value, if you can find it on sale. 6. Canon EOS 250D or Rebel SL3 Canon's best budget DSLR, the Rebel SL3 also known as the EOS 250D outside the US, mixes a strong feature set with great handling, despite its small size. The Nikon D3500 is our favorite DSLR, it's even smaller, but lacks this camera's flip-out LCD screen, which is particularly handy if you want to shoot video. The Rebel SL3 also betters its now discontinued predecessor with 4K video recording, although this is cropped and often suffers from noticeable rolling shutter. Still, as we discovered during our comprehensive test, it does produce pleasing JPEGs. It also benefits from a superb 1070-shot battery life and compatibility with a huge range of EF lenses and other accessories, which many mirrorless cameras lack. If those features are top of your camera wishlist, this beginner-friendly DSLR remains a strong choice. 7. Canon EOS 6D Mark II Although it's a full-frame DSLR, the entry-level EOS 6D Mark II is impressively user-friendly. While the chassis can feel rather plasticky, the 26-megapixel sensor housed within is stellar, and offers Canon's trusty dual-pixel CMOS AF system when using live view mode. With 45 AF points to choose from and a burst speed of 6.5 FPS, there's plenty you can capture including some decent wildlife shots as well. It's not quite fast enough for speedy trackside racing shots, but we discovered in our review that it does surprisingly well for most anything else. The rear touchscreen also offers tap to focus and tap to shoot for anyone missing a joystick. Despite that the 6D Mark II is reliable, produces great results and is still a favorite amongst enthusiast photographers. 8. Canon EOS 5D Mark IV Canon's EOS 5D series has a rich heritage. The original EOS 5D brought full-frame photography to the masses. The Mark II unleashed full HD video capture for the first time on a DSLR, and the Mark III became a firm favorite among photographers for doing everything it did so well. The EOS 5D Mark IV tweaks and improves on almost everything before it, with a 30.4 megapixel sensor and advanced 61-point AF system, together with 4K video recording, all of which performed well in our real-world tests. With a 5D Mark V successor essentially ruled out by Canon, the Mark IV will continue to be one of the most compelling DSLRs at this price point. Its 4K video options are a little limited, with the frame rate topping out at 30fps and no options to shoot in a flat gamma profile. But if you're mainly looking for a powerful DSLR for stills photography, the EOS 5D Mark IV remains a surprisingly modern proposition, considering its age, and the fact that you can still buy it new is a testament to its popularity.
That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new, and don't forget to give me your thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video.